now let's fix the UI of this button and also as you know that this button is connected I mean the state of it we are managing using get X so we have to set the state of it now so for that purpose uh, what we need to do is uh, we have to go back to our home screen dot dot file and in here on our home screen dot dot file first of all here we have inside the widget build inside the body where we have this button for VPN we have to wrap this inside OBS OBX as we are managing the state of it using get stat management so we will say OBX and yeah then we can say VPN round button just like this that's it okay and then inside our VPN round button when the user tap on it we will connect to VPN we will connect the user to the VPN of course if it is already connected then it will first close the previous connection and connect it to the new one or let's say for example what I mean is you know that we are already connected to this okay now let's say the user want to stop it so the user will simply click on this button and it will be stopped that is this VPN uh, server will be stop which is for the Korea Republic this connection will be stop and then the, if the user want the user can close the app and then when the user open up the app again let's say if the user wants as you know this one is already selected okay so if the user wants to connect to it again then the user will click on this button and it will connect the user back to that same VPN server if the user do not want to change after of course if the user wants to change the VPN server the user can do it from here from the list by clicking on the select country location so anyways this is how it is it will work and now uh, also the UI uh, we have to check so the border radius is 100 and let's apply padding from all sides 16 and then this one also let's change this to 16 the height the height will be screen size height and it will be of 0.14 percent and then the width will also be according to the height okay whatever the screen height is we will take 14 percent of it dot 14 percent of it for the width okay and then yeah this was the mistake here and then the rest of the thing will remain the same so yeah, now let's just install the app on our phone to see these changes. So the app is running now. So as you know that we have we are already connected to Korea Republic I mean earlier we have selected this Korea Republic so if I want to connect it to the same VPN server I will just click now to this uh, I mean click on this VPN button and you can see that the UI of this looks beautiful now it is fixed now okay so now if I tap on this it is now connected connecting as you know we have already managed the start of it and when it is connected successfully you can see the updated ping the download speed and the upload speed and the start of this button you already know that we have managed it with the help of our home controller which you see here okay and then of course the color which will change according to the VPN connection start so anyways now we are connected to Korea Republic now if I want to disconnect I will simply click here on this button again and you see it is disconnected okay download zero upload zero that is nothing up here here if I want to again connect to the same network I will click on it it will now start connecting to the same VPN server which is Korea Republic and we are the VPN connection start okay so VPN is started now if I want to disconnect I will click here again and it is disconnected now if I want to change the VPN server 
I will click here select country location and I can see many VPN locations from around the world so to any location to which you want to connect let's connect to Japan connecting and we are connected to Japan the MS is 9 MS this is the download speed and this is the upload speed so now we are connected to VPN server Japan 